oil and gas drilling. This provision states that, quote, if the Secretary has not made a decision on the application by the end of the 60-day period, beginning on the date the application is received by the Secretary, the application is deemed approved, end quote. My amendment would simply strike this session, section. In other words, as it stands in the legislation before us, if for whatever reason, incomplete information, uh, uh, new information, uh, the Secretary has not made a decision whether or not to uh, approve the application, then the application will be considered from then on approved. There are a number of provisions in this bill that could make offshore drilling less safe. My amendment is aimed at perhaps the most dangerous of those provisions. This bill short circuits existing requirements to protect oil industry workers and those who depend on marine resources for their livelihoods and so forth. Ensuring that environmental and safety standards are met so that the new permits will not result in a repeat of the Deepwater Horizon disaster is really too important to allow permits to go through the door prematurely and automatically simply because of an arbitrary timeline imposed by this legislation. Depending on the dedication of a particular secretary to safety and environmental protection, H.R. 1229 would produce either precipitous automatic approval of an application to drill or unjustified rejection of a valid application if the review is not completed within the, the allotted time. Either way, the imposition of an arbitrary di uh, deadline is bad policy. It's based on a presumption that environmental and safety reviews are worthless and that there is really no value in getting the review right. My amendment would leave in place the permitting timeline set in H.R. 1229, creating the sense of urgency my colleagues are seeking, but it would remove the automatic approval of drilling applications after that 60-day timeline. If we've learned anything from the Deepwater Horizon disaster, it is that we must do more, not less, to protect those who work in the oil industry and those who depend on offshore resources and onshore resources for their livelihood. I urge my colleague to support this amendment, and I reserve the balance of my time. The gentleman reserves the balance of his time. For what purpose does the gentleman from Colorado rise? Mr. Chairman, I claim time.